Welcome to Full Focus World. In this video, we are going to show you 10 of the most dangerous climbing routes in the world, where only the most skilled and daring climbers dare to go. These routes are not for the faint of heart, as they involve extreme heights, exposure, weather, and technical difficulty. Here are the 10 most dangerous climbing routes in the world. Number 10. Broad Peak. Pakistan, 8.37% fatality rate. Broad Peak is one of the 14 mountains in the world that are higher than 8,000 meters. It is located in the Karakoram Range, on the border of Pakistan and China, and it has a long summit ridge that gives it its name. Broad Peak is considered a relatively easy 8,000er, but it still poses many challenges and dangers for climbers. The first ascent of Broad Peak was achieved in 1957 by an Austrian team, without the use of supplemental oxygen or high-altitude porters. Since then, more than 360 people have attempted to climb the mountain, but only about half of them have reached the summit. The other half have either turned back or perished on the slopes. The main hazards of climbing Broad Peak are the extreme cold, the high winds, the risk of avalanches, and the long distance from the base camp to the summit. Climbers have to endure temperatures below minus 40 degrees Celsius, gusts of over 100 kilometers per hour, and unstable snow conditions. They also have to traverse a complex glacier and cross several calls and ridges before reaching the final summit pyramid. According to statistics, Broad Peak has a mortality rate of 8.37%, which means that one out of every 12 climbers who attempted dies on the mountain. This makes it the 10th deadliest mountain in the world, and one of the most dangerous climbing routes. Number 9. Shisha Pangma. China slash Tibet, 8.8% fatality rate. Shisha Pangma is one of the 14 peaks in the world that are over 8,000 meters high, and it is located in the Tibet Autonomous Region of China. It is also one of the most dangerous climbing routes, with a fatality rate of 8.8% as of 2019. This means that for every 100 climbers who attempt to summit Shisha Pangma, about 9 die on the mountain. The main reasons for the high risk of Shisha Pangma are its unpredictable weather, its steep and exposed terrain, and its remoteness from civilization. The weather on Shisha Pangma can change rapidly, with sudden storms, strong winds, and heavy snowfall. The terrain is challenging, with many sections of rock, ice, and snow that require technical skills and equipment. The remoteness of Shisha Pangma means that rescue operations are difficult and costly, and that medical help is far away. Despite these dangers, Shisha Pangma attracts many climbers who seek to complete the 8,000-meter challenge or to explore its unclimbed routes. Shisha Pangma was first climbed in 1964 by a Chinese expedition, and since then it has been climbed by many famous mountaineers, such as Reinhold Messner, Ed Viesters, and Uli Steck. However, it has also claimed the lives of many others, such as Alex Lowe, Tomas Humer, and Inaki Ochoa de Alza. Shisha Pangma is a mountain of both beauty and peril, and it deserves respect and caution from anyone who attempts to climb it. Number 8. Gushabrumai. Pakistan, 9.43% fatality rate. One of the most dangerous climbing routes in the world is the ascent of Gushabrumai, also known as Hidden Peak in Pakistan. Gushabrumai is one of the highest mountains in the world, standing 8,080 meters above sea level. It is part of the Karakoram mountain range, which contains some of the most challenging peaks for climbers. The first successful ascent of Gusherbroom I was carried out in 1958 by an American expedition led by Nicholas Clinch. Since then, only a few hundred climbers have reached the summit, and many have died en route. The fatality rate for Gusherbroom I is estimated at 9.43%, meaning that almost 1 in 10 climbers who try it die. The main challenges of climbing Gusherbroom I are the extreme weather conditions, the high altitude, the technical difficulty of the route and the remoteness of the location. The mountain is often battered by strong winds, blizzards and avalanches, which can change the terrain and create hazards. High altitude causes hypoxia, frostbite, and acute mountain sickness, which can impair judgment and physical performance. The route requires steep ice and rock climbing as well as crossing crevices and greenhouses. The remoteness of the mountain means that rescue and evacuation in an emergency is very difficult, if not impossible. Number 7. Makalu. Nepal, 13.6% fatality rate. Makalu is the fifth highest mountain in the world, located in the Mahalangar Himalayas on the border between Nepal and China. 
It is considered one of the most difficult and dangerous peaks to climb, with a fatality rate of 13.6% as of 2020. The main challenges of climbing Makalu are its steep slopes, technical sections, extreme cold, high altitude and unpredictable weather. The most common route to the summit of Makalu is the Northwest Ridge, which was first climbed by a French expedition in 1955. This route involves crossing the Barren Glacier, ascending the Makalu La Pass, traversing the west face and climbing the final pyramid to the top. The route is exposed to avalanches, rock falls, ice falls and strong winds. It also requires several high camps and fixed ropes. Another route to the summit of Makalu is the Southeast Ridge, which was first climbed by a Japanese expedition in 1970. This route is more direct but also more difficult than the Northwest Ridge. It involves climbing a steep ice kawar, crossing a knife-edge ridge, overcoming a rock band and negotiating a complex summit ridge. The route is very technical and requires a high level of skill and experience. It also has a higher risk of objective hazards and bad weather. Number 6. Everest. Nepal slash China, 14.1% fatality rate. Everest, the highest mountain in the world, is located on the border between Nepal and China. It attracts thousands of climbers every year who want to challenge themselves and reach the summit. However, Everest is also one of the most dangerous climbing routes in the world, with a fatality rate of 14.1% according to a 2019 study. There are two main routes to climb Everest, the Southeast Ridge from Nepal and the Northeast Ridge from China. Both routes have their own difficulties and dangers, such as high altitude, extreme weather, avalanches, icefalls, crevasses and rockfalls. The Southeast Ridge is more popular and crowded, but also has a higher death rate than the Northeast Ridge. The most hazardous section of the Southeast Ridge is the Kumbo Icefall, a constantly moving glacier that can collapse at any moment. The Northeast Ridge is less crowded but more technically demanding and exposed. It also has a longer summit day, which means more time spent in the death zone above 8,000 meters, where oxygen is scarce and the risk of frostbite, hypothermia and cerebral edema is high. The most dangerous part of the Northeast Ridge is the second step, a 40-meter high rock wall that requires climbing skills and equipment. Some climbers also have to face ethical dilemmas when they encounter dead bodies or dying climbers along the way. Number 5. Dalagiri I. Nepal, 21.9% fatality rate. Dalagiri I is the seventh highest mountain in the world and the highest mountain within the borders of Nepal. It has a height of 8,167 meters, 26,795 feet, and a prominence of 3,357 meters, 11,014 feet. It is located in the Dalagiri Massif, which extends 120 kilometers, 70 miles, from the Kalagandaki River west to the Bari River. The name Dalagiri comes from Sanskrit and means dazzling, white, beautiful mountain. The first ascent of Dalagiri I was made on May 13, 1960 by a Swiss-Austrian-Nepali expedition led by Kurt D.M. Berger. They followed the Northeast Ridge, which is still the most common route to the summit. However, the mountain has been climbed from almost every direction, including the North Face, or Pear Buttress, which was attempted by several expeditions in the 1950s but not successfully climbed until 1976 by an Italian team. Dalagiri I is one of the most dangerous mountains to climb, with a fatality rate of 16.2% as of 2007. This means that for every six climbers who reached the summit, one died. The main hazards are avalanches, crevasses, rockfalls, altitude sickness and extreme weather. The south and west faces are especially steep and exposed, rising over 4,000 meters 13,120 feet, from the base. The mountain is also very isolated and requires a long and difficult approach through remote valleys. Number 4. Nanga Parbat. Pakistan, 20.8% fatality rate. Nanga Parbat, also known as the Killer Mountain, is the ninth highest mountain in the world and one of the most dangerous climbing routes. Located in Pakistan, it has a height of 8,126 meters and a fatality rate of 20.8%, meaning that one in five climbers who attempt to summit it die in the process. The mountain is notorious for its steep slopes, frequent avalanches, unpredictable weather and complex terrain. The first recorded attempt to climb Nanga Parbat was in 1895 by Albert F. Mummery, a British mountaineer who disappeared on the mountain along with two Gorkha companions. 
Since then, many expeditions have tried to conquer the peak, but only a few have succeeded. The first successful ascent was in 1953 by Hermann Buell, an Austrian climber who reached the summit solo after a grueling 41-hour climb. He was also the first person to climb an 8,000er, a mountain above 8,000 meters, alone. Nanga Parbat has several routes that vary in difficulty and danger. Some of the most challenging ones are the Rupel Face, the Diamir Face and the Mazino Ridge. The Rupel Face is the highest mountain face in the world, rising 4,600 meters from its base to the summit. The Diamir Face is where most of the fatalities have occurred, due to frequent rockfalls and icefalls. The Mazino Ridge is the longest arete, a narrow ridge, in the world, stretching for 13 kilometers with eight subsidiary peaks over 7,000 meters. Climbing any of these routes requires exceptional skill, endurance, and luck. Number 3. Kangchen Junga. India slash Nepal, 29.1% fatality rate. One of the most dangerous climbing routes in the world is the ascent of Kangchen Junga, the third highest mountain on earth, located on the border of India and Nepal. Kangchen Junga has a fatality rate of 29.1%, meaning that nearly one out of every three climbers who attempt to reach its summit dies in the process. The main reasons for this high mortality rate are the extreme weather conditions, the technical difficulty of the terrain, and the risk of avalanches and rockfalls. Kangchen Junga has five peaks, four of which are over 8,000 meters high. The highest peak, Kangchen Junga Main, stands at 8,586 meters and was first climbed in 1955 by a British expedition led by Charles Evans. Since then, only about 300 climbers have reached the top of Kangchen Junga Main, compared to over 6,000 who have summit Mount Everest. The most common route to Kangchen Junga Main is via the southwest face, which involves crossing a complex glacier system and climbing steep ice and rock walls. Kangchen Junga is not only a physical challenge, but also a cultural and ethical one. The mountain is considered sacred by the local people, who believe that it is the abode of a powerful deity. Out of respect for their beliefs, most climbers stop short of the true summit, leaving a few meters untouched. This tradition was started by the first ascenders, Evans and Joe Brown, who vowed not to step on the highest point of the mountain. Climbing Kangchen Junga requires not only skill and courage, but also humility and reverence for nature. Number 2. K2. Pakistan slash China, 22.9% fatality rate. K2, also known as Mount Godwin Austin or Chagari, is the second highest mountain in the world after Mount Everest. It lies on the border between Pakistan and China in the Karakoram range of the Himalayas. K2 is widely regarded as one of the most difficult and dangerous mountains to climb, with a fatality rate of about 22.9% for every 100 successful ascents. One of the reasons why K2 is so perilous is its unpredictable and harsh weather, which can change rapidly and create avalanches, storms, and blizzards. Another reason is its steep and complex terrain, which offers few safe routes and requires technical skill and endurance. Some of the most notorious sections of the mountain include the Abruzzi Spur, the House's Chimney, the Black Pyramid, the Bottleneck, and the Traverse. Despite its challenges, K2 attracts many adventurous climbers who seek to conquer the Savage Mountain. The first successful ascent was made in 1954 by an Italian expedition led by Ardito Dicio. Since then, only about 400 people have reached the summit, compared to over 6,000 who have climbed Everest. K2 remains one of the ultimate goals for mountaineers who want to test their limits and experience the thrill of climbing one of the most dangerous peaks in the world. Number 1. Annapurna I. Nepal, 30% fatality rate. One of the most dangerous climbing routes in the world is the ascent of Annapurna I, the 10th highest mountain on earth, located in Nepal. Annapurna I has a staggering 30% fatality rate, meaning that one out of every three climbers who attempt to reach its summit does not survive. The main reasons for this high mortality are the extreme weather conditions, the frequent avalanches, and the technical difficulty of the terrain. The first successful ascent of Annapurna I was achieved in 1950 by a French expedition led by Maurice Herzog and Louis Lequinel, who reached the summit via the North Face. This was also the first time that an 8,000-meter peak was climbed. However, the descent was a nightmare, as both Herzog and Lequinel suffered severe frostbite and had to amputate their fingers and toes. Since then, only a few hundred climbers have managed to conquer Annapurna I, and many have perished in the attempt. 
The most challenging route on Annapurna is the South Face, which was first climbed in 1970 by a British expedition led by Chris Bonington and Dougal Haston. The South Face is a sheer wall of rock and ice that rises more than 3 kilometers from the base camp to the summit. It requires a high level of skill, stamina, and courage to overcome the many obstacles and dangers that lurk on this route. Only a handful of climbers have repeated this feat, and some of them have paid with their lives. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Follow us for more videos.